Okay, you're looking at my buddy Suzuki uh, four-wheeler here. I mentioned it briefly in another video. Uh, the problem is it, it will not start. So there's a couple things you want to look at before you go really digging into the bike and uh, you know take something apart that you really don't need to take apart. First thing I start with is the carb. Um, I don't take the carb out. I don't do any of that. Turn it on. I flood the crap out of it. If I've got gas coming out, then I know the carb has gas getting, you know, it's getting to the motor. So in this case, we're getting gas, we're good there, nothing to do with that. So if you did have that problem, take the carb apart, check the float, check the jets, and go from there. This one does not have that problem. So we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, next thing you want to do is take the spark plug out and inspect it. Well, this plug physically looks fine, but you never know, it could be a bad plug. So what you do in this case, is put another plug in, got a fresh plug, and you want to ground it to the head or a ground um, on, your, on your bike, and then simply kick it over. So, I don't know if we'll be able to demonstrate with uh, the camera in the way, but we'll try. My arm probably will be in the way. Oh, here. We'll kick it over. And I couldn't see if I was actually grounding that, but anyway, Without the camera in the way, I could see that I was getting no spark. So that is the, well, that's the culprit so far. We're not getting any spark to the spark plug. We know it's not the spark plug, we just put a fresh one in. So spark plug's eliminated. Now the next step is the, the actual switch. We'll move to that. Okay, the next thing you want to check is the switch. So this actually has a switch on it. Uh, a lot of dirt bikes, a lot of four wheels will actually have a button. You know, you just hit it and it shuts it off. This actually has a switch, so we want to check the switch. You can either take this apart, or if you have a manual, which luckily I do, you can uh, just pull back the sheathing here, and if you know what wires are what, you can just do a continuity test on them. So, um, in this case, we know that the wires are black and white and black and yellow, so we're going to go ahead and just do that. So, set the camera down here. Got our wires here, and we've got it in the off position. So, what we should hear with this continuity test is once we make a good connection, we should have to hear the tone. So, let's it's black and yellow, black and white. And I'm using probes that will poke into the wire, so we'll turn it on. There we go. So we know the switch is good. So the next test will be either the magneto or the ignition coil itself. So we'll start with the coil since that's the easiest to get to. So stay tuned. Okay, on this uh, particular vehicle, here's the coil. It goes down to the plug right here. You've got two different readings you want to get. You want to test the positive and negative here on the top of the coil. We should get zero to two ohm reading. Anything outside of that, then we, uh, we need to uh, replace it. And then there's also another check we can do from the positive side of the coil to the spark plug, or where the plug goes into. So we're gonna set our ohms on here. We'll set our ohm reading to, or reading to 200. And we should get zero to two ohms across here. So let's, oops, we're still on continuity. Oops, okay, there we go. So, um, we're fine. We're fine there, so that's okay. Plug that back up. Now from the positive terminal to the plug itself is another story. We could have a broken wire inside of the, uh, from the, the, the coil to the plug. So what you want to do is we'll go ahead and put, uh, we'll put the positive up here, it doesn't really matter. And then we'll go down to the coil. I'll show you that. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So, we've got the actual plug wire, and I apologize, I can't see the camera. Uh, and we'll go ahead and put the negative in there. Now, what we should get on our own reading is uh, 10 to, I think, 25,000 K on the ohm reading. So, if we don't get within that parameter, we, are, we need a new coil, our ignition coil. So, we'll set that up on 200,000. So, we are getting 9,000. Um, so more than likely, uh, it's just fluctuating a bit, uh, more than likely we have a bad coil, uh, ignition coil. 
We may also have a Magneto, but we're not even gonna go that far yet, because to really test that, we're gonna have to take the uh, stator cover off and everything else. And we already know this part is more than likely bad, obviously. So we'll replace this first, and then we'll move on to the next step. I don't have this part right now. I don't know if uh, my buddy's gonna wanna buy it. Um, if not, then we'll just, he'll just probably sell this as is, and we'll move on the merry way. Now, if he wants to replace this, we'll go ahead and replace it, and then uh, we'll go for the Magneto test as well, but there's no sense in buying parts we don't need. And uh, I may test the Magneto before we actually, you know, before he says yes or no, because there's, uh, you know, if we need to get it, but those two parts are gonna be probably over $100. I have a feeling he's not gonna wanna uh, to deal with that. So we'll probably just sell it as is and then move on. So I would test the Magneto, but there's really uh, no reason to. In this vid, I just wanted to show you how to determine the problem of the vehicle not starting, specifically using the, uh, with the ignition here. So um, if you have any other questions or uh, anything like that, feel free to post them and uh, subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.